More than 2,000 veterans are homeless across Central and South Georgia. That's according to Joe Grant, who is the Homeless Veteran Program Coordinator at the Carl Vinson VA Medical Center in Dublin. Now, the VA is teaming up with the city and other organizations to provide housing for homeless and low-income veterans. Juan Ye Reese talked to Dublin leaders about how they want to help those who have served. On Thursday, leaders here at the Carl Vincent VA Medical Center announced how buildings just like these are going to be turned into affordable housing for homeless vets and at risk veterans. At some point in time, I was very close to being homeless. I had a, some family that took me in and uh, I, I thank them for this day. But Vietnam veteran John Payne served in the U.S. Army for two years and says he fell on hard times after serving. It was a feeling of just uh, isolation. Uh, doing something and no, not being appreciated by the fellow people that came back to. Now a project called Freedom's Path at Dublin is trying to make sure veterans always have a roof over their head. The first of which will be an adaptive reuse and a historic renovation of the two existing buildings behind me to generate 44 units for veterans who are homeless, who are near homeless or disabled and who meet income guidelines uh, for this program. There will be 22 studios and 22 one bedroom units for veterans. A new building will also be built to serve female veterans or two parent households with a child. It's a, it's a very good day. It's a much needed project. And the city of Dublin, Dublin Housing Authority, Solution for Veterans and Garrison for Veterans all helped make this project possible. I know that Freedom's Path is a win for Georgia and all U.S. military veterans. Leaders say construction should start this September and wrap up by the fall of 2022, letting veterans like Payne know they can count on the Dublin VA. It gives veterans hope. In Dublin, Juanye Reese, 13 WMAZ News. David Whitmer says tax credits and historic preservation grants will pay for the $10 million project. He says rent will be based on income and veterans will have resources available to help them pay their rent.